Hey guys, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. This video is number four in the series of autopilot videos. So if you've been following this in the first video, I give you an overview of what Windows Autopilot is. Then we uh, uh, created or we showed you how to gather the device IDs and the hardware hash from your Windows 10 Enterprise machine. And in the third video, I showed you how to upload that uh, file in a CSV format in the Windows Store for Business. And also part of that, we also created a profile in the Windows Store for Business. And in today's and uh, this fourth video, I'll show you how the experience is from the end user point of view when it comes to uh, connecting this to the Windows 10 device. But before I do that, let me just quickly show you the way we created the profile in Windows Store for Business, same way we can do it from the Azure portal by going into the Intune. So I'm on my Azure subscription and if I go into the Intune, I can go to the device enrollment. You can go to Windows enrollment and go to deployment profile. And now I have created this profile with the name profile one for sales group. And if I go under the settings, I can specify if I want the privacy setting to hide, you'll agreement to hide and account time, whether it should be admin or a standard account. And what I did is that I have assigned this profile to the uh, device ID or the Windows 10 enterprise machine that we loaded in the uh, Windows Store for Business. So same way you can do it from the uh, within the Azure portal too. And another thing I want to quickly show you is if I go into the Azure Active Directory I have a couple of groups in this one. One of the group name is sales in that and I have one user with the name Ram and that is what I will use to uh, provide the credential when I go through the out of the box experience for Windows 10. Okay, so let me just quickly flip over to my Windows 10 Enterprise machine and uh, I have formatted this machine and this I have to select the region which you have to do. So let me select US. And I will select the keyboard uh, US. Okay, so let me just give the name for so as you can see that this machine intelligently knows that it is part of the it simplified.ca domain and uh, uh, if I can show you that right you can see that it's part of the it simplified.ca domain and uh, I will be logging in as the user with the name Ram so if I can show you again can see that in all groups I have a group with the name sales 
and in this sales I have the member which is with the name Ram and this is what I'm gonna use to uh, load my Windows 10 so let me flip over again and uh, provide the credential from Active Directory provide the password So as you can see that from the system admin point of view, they have not touched the machine in any way. So the machine didn't ask me to go through the privacy setting. I don't have to accept the EULA agreement. And uh, I have specified that I want this user to be a, a standard account. So it means that it doesn't have the admin uh, rights on the specific machine. So they cannot install of their own. And all the specific things that I have specified in the in tune it will be all pulled from there so it's great from managing the devices and that is what the uh, out of the box experience is when it comes to uh, deployment via the windows autopilot so let's just wait for this
so here we go as you can see that you get a full-blown uh, Windows 10 enterprise and uh, all the applications that I can uh, have specified within the Azure environment that get all pulled up from there so this is a great way of deploying your Windows enterprise so you don't need to worry about the patching you don't need to subscribe the machine so that's the whole idea that you want to give a, a self-driven deployment uh, to your uh, Azure uh, through the Azure uh, Active Directory as well as with Intune to manage your devices remotely. So this was in nutshell the out-of-the-box experience of the self-driven approach by using Windows Autopilot. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.